Hello and welcome back with your Quebec Nordiques here in NHL 20, year number two. Sorry guys for the long delay in between videos, just been very busy. And I'm going to get back into it though. So, we're here in year number two. Let's re, uh, let's remember where we're at. So if we go look at our lineup, we got Huberto, Barkov, Manta. Manta's our first line. Johansson, Achari, Shiri is our second Bjorkstrom, Walmart, and Levo, and then Tippett, Spezza, and Sevier. Uh, looking around, we still need to find that second line center. I don't think Noel Achari is going to 100% fill what we need there. Um, so we got to look out for that. Defense, it goes Tony D'Angelo and Aaron Ekblad, David Savard and Michael Matheson, and Patrick Namath and Justin Braun. Our scratch players are Yuho Lacamillo. Mackenzie Wieger and Frank Vetrano. Our goaltenders, Robin Leonard and Alexander Gordiev. So, in this episode, we're going to try and we're going to simulate and we need to find that second line center. Um, if we're looking at trades, though, or not trades at least, but at least looking at other teams' forwards when it comes to the center position, we can take a look at who's got a lot of centers they look to give up. So, a bunch of guys here in San Jose, but they are prospects. I don't want prospects, I want a player now. Um, actually, if I take a look here, Tyler Johnson would be an ideal second liner. He fits first line, so he might be able to fit for us. We could be able to take a look at him after. Um, Paul Stasny makes a little too much for my liking at 6.5, but it's a one-year contract, so it's not the worst case in the world uh, to fill that second line. Because I feel if we get a second line center, then we're going to put our team over the top and become a better contending team than we are. Henrik, uh, if it wasn't for the four years, he would probably jump back up to what I want, but he also doesn't fit it, so it's okay. Um, Derek Stepan for one year, not bad. A lot of players fitting our first line. Um, so I'm hoping they would fit a second line role. Um, not too much after this in the likes of players. Taves, way too much. Soderberg is not a second line, in my opinion. Uh, prospects. Uh, prospects, again, two young guy, younger guys. Um, Edmonton, why are you glitching? Nuge would be great for a year, but bottom six is not what we're looking for. Uh, nothing in LA, nothing in Minnesota, nothing in Montreal. <clears throat> what of uh, seven years though, or seven million? Too much, I think, in my opinion. But Pavelski would have been great for that line. Tourists, no. Um, so we're probably gonna. I'm probably gonna look back at those guys we looked at earlier. Um, Doodles, White, Tierney. Uh, a lot of guys there in Philly, Pittsburgh, not as much. And we're back to Quebec. So if I'm looking at Tyler Johnson, for example, we're looking at $5 million for four more years. He's 30. I'm just trying to remember the other one would be Paul Stasny. He's 34 at 84 with one year left. So I think he'd be a better fit. Obviously, no trades will be found. So what if I quickly made a mock trade for Stasny? And then with Stasny, we could get rid of him after the end of the year and get a cheaper guy for that line. So if I were to throw a player back, I believe I'm going to get, have to give up that kind. Um, so I'd probably throw back Nolachari. Go back be able to leak salary. So that's where we're going to take one of our guys that makes a little too much money for my liking. And Mackenzie Wieger is his name. Oh, never mind. It's not Mackenzie Wieger. Who is it then? Michael Matheson makes too much in my opinion. So I don't have that that I want then. Never mind. I'm looking here. It's not looking good in the likes of what I have. Patrick Namath, I guess, could be the guy going back. And then I'd have to give up a pick, maybe, or a player. I have two seconds, so why don't I give a flyer second because they want it. And why don't we look for prospects? Got a lot of prospects. Um, 
give him something decently good, but not too great. Toivonen, I can give him Toivonen because I do have Lundell coming up at some point in his career. So how would that be? We give up a, our, we get two players, and we get one back. Can I work? Will they retain some salary for me? Will they retain 1.5? Trade reject. Okay, we're going to wait on that trade. While we get some simming going on, I'm going to put Achari, though, on the trade block. And I'm also going to put Johansson as well. That's not what I wanted. Trading block. And I'll update it so I can get a second. So if I'm getting what I want to get rid of, Johansson is one. And Achari is the other one. And I'll get first. I don't care. I'll take first. And I see the second line forward's already fit right there, so that's perfect. That's what I like to see. So we get that. <clears throat> All right. So why don't we get some simming underway? See what we can get going. Whoops. Put your note on us already. Okay. So when we sim the preseason, straight to the regular season. Uh, Johansson for two seconds. I'm going to say no. Um, nothing happening here. All right, so the only trade offer we got was uh, for two seconds for Johansson. That's not what I wanted, like a player back. Um, so while we get started into the season... Okay, so why don't we go to December 1st, see where we're at with our team. Hoping for a better year. Uh, Springfield is our minor league team. So one loss off, one win, one loss to start off the season. Achari gets out with an injured groin. So that's not going to help us. Okay, uh, Nola Achari's back. Sorry, guys. Uh, Vitrano will actually get the plus one, but he's not a center. Bjorkstrom, if he was a second line, he fits better there, which sucks. Um, so we're 2 3 0 to start the season. Not looking good so far. A lot of injuries down in Springfield. Uh, my. Thought about it actually while I was away for so long. Injured toe for Robin Leonard. Um, if we don't see any improvement in the first uh, three, four years, we don't make the playoffs. I'm considering blowing the team up a little bit. And I will show you what happens. But hopefully we don't have to do that because I don't want to go through a rebuild that late into the series. Uh, so we are really struggling here. Two, five, and one. Getting close to the end of October. Barkov out with a, or, or, a sore hip, sorry. And we're losing both two games. We lose, we get outscored 14 to one. So there's something going on here with this team that I don't understand. Actually, you know what? Two nine and one to start the season. This calls for a coaching change. We're gonna call. It, we're gonna get a coaching change right now. So I have that generalist player. Like he's a decent coach. Like he's got a. His lowest is an A. But he is struggling to get anything whatsoever in the likes of player or er, coaching. Oh, that's higher staff. Wrong guy. Sorry, my bad. My bad. This is our staff. Okay, so he's a C. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, I only hired him because he had such great team fit. We're going to fire him. He is not fitting our bill greatly, so we're going to make our, assist, our associate coach the interim head coach. He's a, got 57% team chemistry. 
We're going to get a different coach, though, to replace Mario Goudreau. And I got $3 million to spend. This coach right here would be great. 65, but I don't think he's going to fit it. 65 again. Um, just looking at our guys. Big guys. And then, like, Goudreau's right there. So it's not like I have a lot of leeway. I got to try and get this guy. I'm going to try and get the A minus guy for a cheaper contract or see if he'll come. I'm not going to throw much money at him because you know how this works. And I don't want to get rid of more coaches. If he doesn't sign, then I might just go with the associate coach the rest of the season. Uh, I agree 100%, Alexander. Uh, improve our team or make a coaching change. Uh, maybe a coaching change is right. And I've already done that. And I'm trying my hardest to get a new coach. He declined, so I'm going to try and give him just a little bit more money. Sometimes I find that works. Um, oh, five years. Give him an extra 200000 See if that works. If not, we can run with the one coach, the associate coach, for a bit. Yeah, I want to see... If he says no, then I want to see what the coach brings. Okay, so he doesn't look like it. I'll do one more offer. I don't understand this sometimes. I'll move it up to 4.5. I know I don't have that kind of money to sign a coach, but it would help. I was really hoping the C coach could grow as a coach, but I guess that's not happening. But I mean, with our associate coach, we've already won two games. And he joins the team. Okay, so he signs we have money for that, apparently. Let's take a look at our lineup now. Zeros all across the board. I love it. Plus threes right there. So we need to work on... Oh. May I forget that? What's his name? Huberto is hurt. Bjorkstrand up there. Nothing. Walmart up there. Minus one. Uh, moving Johansson down means I'm going to get rid of him. So a lot of guys here don't fit his build. Did I? Okay, so he's got a first line. He's decent on the first line. Second line, Josh Levo fits it. You fit the second, apparently. Connor Sheary fits it. I'm going to move you up there for now. Bjorkstrom, you fit better on the fourth. But I don't like the looks of that. Okay, I'm going to see what Johansson has out there for a trade offer now. We get the new coach. I'm getting seconds, seconds, and seconds. Okay, no. Uh, so I'd like to see right wingers quickly. What other teams have for right wingers I could try and snab. Um, Kasperi Kapitan. He fits line one, which means he could fit line two, actually. So why don't we go... Kasperi Kapanen as a uh, player we go after for Mark and give up Marcus Johansson for that. They're champions, so that might be a bit harder to convince them, but he's got low value. And if you equivalent that to Johansson, it's probably the same. Toronto's over the league salary cap by like nothing. But I guess I could try and take some kind of money back. I'm looking for one years. I mean, Andreas Johansson would be also nice. If I give up Johan, okay, I can get both of that, and I'll give a prospect up, and then I can shed more cap somewhere else. Bringing that, I have now depth I can use. And I said I would give up Toivonen. So we get Kapanen, and we get Johansson. I think it's a great trade. Okay, well, they don't want that, but I'll give a second. I'm taking two players from them, so I gotta be nicer. Okay, so we get two players for one. So I, we only have a million dollars in cap space, but I do think with Johansson, with Johnson and Kapanen, that this team is a little bit better forward wise. Uh, Tippett, Levo fits great there. Vetrano, what if I scratch you out for Johansson? Plus one there, perfect. So the plus ones stay the same for them. And Connor Sheary is still on that first line for now. 
but I could probably move him around. Um, uh, put Cap in there. So we trade off one, but we get two back. We took an extra million dollars in cap, but I think that was it helped us out right there. So why don't we do go back to December first and see what we can get going? So since we fired the coach, we haven't lost the game. Hewardo is we're back in the lineup. We'll send uh, this guy down. Uh, he got claimed by Montreal. Okay, Connor Sheary. Places with Huberto. Plus one again up there. Uh, Sevier, if I take him out, where can I put Connor Sheary? Okay, that works. That third line, though, again, is just a work in progress. Uh, now we get some losses. I spoke too soon about that. Robin Leonard's back, so we're going to send down Dredgier. No one claims him, but I have an idea for that. These lines right here, will Walmart work better on this line? I gotta go with the plus ones everywhere. <laughs> and I apologize for that, guys. My allergies have been terrible. Uh, Bjorkstrand's injured now, but uh, actually, never mind. Leonard gets hurt again. So Dredger's gotta come back up. And Vitrano can come and play there. And Dredger's going to have to come in and back us up. Uh, Spets is out with a sore foot. So that's fine. Barkov is happy we kept our promise. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we could all agree that that helped the team right there. Boost morale. Frank Vitrano's out with an MCL injury. Ryan Callahan is her, is a, available, and with the injury that I have up front, I'm going to claim him. Henrik Bjorkstrom is back. And I'm pretty sure I've got a center that it's not supposed to be right there. Bjorkstrom is back. Uh, Spets is back now, too, so all our Forwards are now plus ones. Perfect. And now what started off as 291 now brings us to 11, 13, and 2. As we enter the month of December, um, we will wait to see what we can get for second line centers. We're still waiting on a trade for that. Um, if we take a look at anything that's affected now, I don't think much has been changed when it comes to centers that are available. Uh, step on still available. Uh, Stanika. Hayes is still available, but we said no to that. Um, Sucks because I know we could get a center, but none of them are available. Um, same thing, nothing. Uh, nothing in Minnesota, nothing here. Still nothing in, in Nashville. Uh, I mean, Ryan Strom, I forgot about. He would fit the build pretty well, I think. And what's his salary looking like? Four more years at that, we well, could try. Uh, so Noel Achari goes back. Uh, what's your season looking like? You're struggling after you had a what kind of year? A 59-point season. Okay, you know what? We're going to help him. Um, I could deal Connor Sheary. But now the Rangers are over cap. Mark Stahl for one year. We're going to leave this team. Okay. Still nothing. We might just leave it as is for now and wait and see. Yeah, there's nothing. Stasny's still available. 
All right, we're going to leave it that for now. We'll come back to it. I've kept you guys. Oh, it's only, God, it's only in 20 minutes. Um, try and go all the way up to the trade deadline, see how that affects us. Draft class. Leonard's back, perfect. So the goaltending is back. Spets is out with a concussion. I'm trying to do two things at once. Sorry, guys. Uh, getting scored on. Needs more time. You just got here. Settle down. Spets is back. Sorry again. Uh, okay, I'm back 100% now. So we're just below 500, trying to get back here in December. Uh, now we're over 500, which is good. Let's see if we can turn it around, turn the ship around, become a playoff team. We are three points out of a playoff spot by the looks of it. All we need to do is just go on one run of like uh, eight, one and one kind of record. But Trano has return, which means I send Dredger back. We're moving up, which is good. We're three points away from Buffalo, but we need to get more than just one win, a loss, one win, a loss, one win, a loss. It's We're not being consistent. Barkoff being back. And is Tippett back? Tippett is back. How's Tippett doing in this first year? 10 goals, 4 assists for 14 points in 46 games. Another win. Another win. We're up to third of the division now. So we have had a better season. And Jordy Ben. We're going to decline. I don't have enough money for that. Boston. Uh, Strawman to Boston, a third to Detroit. Frederick, a second, and Patera. We beat Boston. Uh, Calgary gets Brodeen and Galchenyuk. Minnesota gets a first, Bednar, and a second. Uh, Coyotes fire head coach. Springfield has players back. Uh, Ryan Hartman, no. Doesn't fit what I want. I need a second line center, which is a lot to ask for, but Achari for a second and a fourth. That's still not what I'm asking for. Hartman, no. Goligoski and Rodriguez to Buffalo to Arizona is a first and a sixth. Um, now we're falling out of playoffs again. Mackenzie Blackwood and Ben Sherratt to Edmonton for Alex Chiasso and Ryan Reeves. Um, Amantha, I'm sorry for the way I'm playing out there. Persuade him. Thank you. Andreas Janssen with a pulled groin. Still a game above 500. Not the greatest I'm looking for, but... Johnson's back. Did he switch and change? Changing that up just a bit. I think the better overalls will help. Uh, Poulin, Joseph, and uh, I can't even pronounce that guy. To Montreal, Pittsburgh gets Brendan Gallagher. Uh, Joel Armia, no thank you. And ever since we hit third place, we have not been able to go back up. Uh, we went on a big losing streak. And we ent uh, St. Louis gets Nick Robertson, Abramoff, and Markov to Toronto. Ivan Barbashev, a third, and Zach Bogosian. Uh, Buffalo gets Kemper and Palmville. Arizona gets a first, a second, and Kyle Ocposo. Uh Connor Brown, 
great acquisition, but I'm going to say no. Uh, so we sit 30, 29, and 4. Uh, not the greatest. I thought we would have been better. Uh, so 64 points, good enough for 5th in the division. We are 10 points out of a playoff spot. Um, Barkov leading the way with 54 points. Uh, there is some work to be done here, guys. A lot of work to be done. We had a good run, and then we just fell off the walls a bit. Um, I'm still good to look at acquisitions we can make. Uh, like Thornton here for the second line. Does not fit. Okay. This is why we look. We're going to look. I'm looking quickly here for you guys to look at players that we could acquire. Um, Paul Stasny still available. It's a tempting one. And he fits line two. I can throw up a mock trade for you guys in a second for Paul Stasny. I have an idea what we could do, unless there's someone else. Paul Stasny would be a great acquisition for the second. The only issue is I know we're sitting 10 points out of a playoff spot. Dominic Kubelik would have been great, but he doesn't fit any of our lines. Um, Radulov, I don't think. Yeah, no. Uh, what was I going getting at? Um, I forget. 100% already. Uh, Philip Deneau, actually, for the second line. He fits. Philip Deneau would be a better acquisition. He's cheaper. He's younger. So I'll throw up a mock trade. I'm probably going to make the deal for Deneau right away, just so we don't forget in case I know, you know, I go missing again, which I shouldn't. Okay, so we're going to get Philip Deneau quickly, and then we'll close the video out. Um... Philip the No. I saw Bowmeister. Does he fit a line for us? And how much does he make? It's a lot for a year. And he fits defensive pairing two. Let's go try and get a two for right here. So Nolachari goes back. I can send defenseman back as well. Patrick Namath. And I need to get something back as well. So if I'm looking at it, uh, this guy who's not even signed yet. Goaltenders, I have everybody available that I could get rid of new. No. Uh, I'd probably do a third. Trade rejected. I'll give a second. That's the farthest I'll go for picks. Trade rejected. I will do a first for next year. I believe we could be a playoff team by next year if I give them that. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna throw Hepi, not Hepi Niemi. I'm gonna throw um, this guy, Linus Nassen. Getting close, I believe, and a pick would be perfect here. Not a fourth, a third. Trade accepted. There we go. So, other trade we make at the end of the video is we get rid of Achari and we get rid of Namath and we bring in Philip Deneau, who we could try and get signed for the future. Um, and then we get Bowmeister for the bottom pairing. Oh, lovely. Move him up there. Matheson can play down there. Um... Who's my other defenseman? Mackenzie Weger. Should have got rid of Braun instead then. Okay, we'll leave that as is. So we get a little bit better, and if I look quickly, I've kept you guys for longer than I should have. Uh, Deneau would like to sign here. And he wants 5.2, okay. So that's where we stand, guys. We get uh, we get a couple more guys to add to our team, and then we sit ten points out. If you guys, do you guys think we can make the playoffs with this team, or do you think we're going to struggle and not make it again? Um, let me know in the comments what you think down below. What we uh, did well. If you have any other ideas for trades, we can go after guys and acquire. Let me know. 
But for now, guys, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.